Very subtle smell, good coloration. So you can start to see the color that's forming now. Literally cooking like any other burger I've uh, experienced before. It looks like a burger and apparently it more or less tastes like one too. Um, there's quite some intense taste. It's close to meat. It's not that juicy. But what they were cooking up at this special event in London was, they claim, a glimpse into the future. Scientists at this laboratory in the Netherlands created the burger from so-called in vitro meat, taking stem cells from cows and then growing them in petri dishes until they formed thousands of muscle fibers. If we have enough cells, then we let them make a tissue with certain conditions um, uh, in, in a petri dish. Um, every f and it, they will form a muscle fiber and 20,000 of those muscle fibers are in that hamburger. Animal rights campaigners hope that one day in vitro meat will do away with the need for factory farming. And if so-called synthetic meat were mass-produced, there could also be huge benefits to the environment. A recent study by Britain's Oxford University estimated that, compared with beef, synthetic meat uses 45% less energy. They also found that it needs 99% less land than livestock, uses between 82 and 96% less water, and produces between 78 and 95% less greenhouse gases. But some green campaigners are unconvinced by the new technology. We don't know if it's going to address the kind of huge, enormous challenges we have today, things like climate change, uh, other environmental challenges, feeding the global population, and a health and obesity crisis, all of which um, require us to really kind of eat less meat and better quality meat. Still, it seems some of the buying public are willing to be persuaded. People will just eat it if it's packaged appropriately. So yeah, I'll eat it. I'm a lemming like everybody else. I try anything. I don't know how uh, good it is, but obviously once I eat it, I decide if it's good or not. I'd have a lot of concerns actually. Just, I like to know where my food is from and where it's produced and how it's produced. For now, the challenge for the scientists is moving from a burger that costs the same as the average British home to something a bit more palatable. Nadine Barber, Al Jazeera, London.